welcome to Reading with Nana, and hi again to my returning friends. Today's story is entitled, Song in the City. The author or the writer is Daniel Bernstrom. The pictures or the illustrator is Janin Mohammed. Song in the City. Sunday morning, Emmeline heard a sing-along song, a busy city symphony that followed her along. Tap, tap, a tap, yip, yip, a yip, sizzle, sizzle, honky, honk, pitter, patter, drip. Running for the bus by the busy, busy street. Chonk, then a screech, then a beep, beep, beep. Grandma Jean, said Emmeline, did you hear that pretty ditty? Emmeline, said Grandma Jean, cross the street while it's not busy. What you're hearing is commotion. Oh, my child, what a notion. That is traffic you are hearing, not a song. Boom came the bus, two doors clunk wide. The driver mumbled, come inside. Tickets beep, beep. Shoes clickety-clomp, rumble, rumble when the engine in a rolling romp. Grandma Jean, said Emmeline, do you hear that drum and beat? Emmeline, said Grandma Jean, we are moving. Take a seat. Then all of a sudden, they came to a stop. Outside of the window marched a bibbity bop. Grandma Jean said, Emmeline, don't you hear that tinkling tune? Emmeline said, Grandma Jean, we'll be getting off here soon. Grandma, listen to the city. Don't you see right now I'm busy? I have told you that's the city, not a song. Outside of the church, wind flapped black clothes, wind sprinkled rain, wind scattered crows, wind rattled branches, wind clinked leaves, wind rained down acorns from oak trees, wind drummed with the world a tippity tappy. In the church, in the pew, Grandma clapped as the trumpets blew and the choir raised the chorus with a music loud and joyous. Emmeline, said Grandma Jean, now I tell you, that's a song. Just forget it, Grandma Jean. What I say just comes out wrong. Emmeline left Grandma Jean and she vanished out the back. Grandma Jean sat all alone holding her tight Sunday hat. Grandma Jean found Emmeline. What on earth is going on? Grandma Jean said, Emmeline, you're not getting what I mean. Can't you hear the backhoe drumming or the city sirens humming? Do you hear the clap, clap, clapping of the pitter patting rain or the toot tooting whistle of the passing cargo train? Do you hear the choir singing with the ringing of the city? Grandma Jean, I mean, really, you're not trying and it's silly. If you'd only stop and listen, there is a song. Do you really hear a song? Asked Grandma Jean. It's playing now, said Emmeline. Then sit with me, said Grandma Jean, and I'll listen to the city. Frankly, child, I've been busy but I'll listen to the city for your song. She sat stock still, tried not to yawn. She listened as the world played on, but what she heard was nothing new. Some people sang, some trumpets blew. She heard the wind, 
a few crass crows, a crying cat, some crinkling clothes, a train somewhere, a bus beep beeped, a cell phone buzzed, a siren shriek. Then one hand darkened Grandma Jean's eyes. Try this way. And Grandma Jean tried. Can't see anything. Acorns ticked, a backhoe wrecked, a trump harumphed, and birds pecked, pecked. Then all at once, the noise went still. Did she hear a dance and drill? A far off siren in a soulful serenade? Then wait, what was that music being played? The song and city filled Grandma Jean's ears. She hugged Emmeline. She fought back tears. Grandma Jean, Asked Emmeline, is something wrong? No, no, she cried. I hear your song. Then they listened to the city, to the clapping, flapping, tippity-topping, bippity-bopping, rotically romping, clickety-clomping, beeping, yipping, music of the city. They listen to the city and the song. I hope you liked our story about Grandma Jean and Emmeline and the song of the city. Click like or subscribe. Until next time.